This presentation on truss installation and roof sheathing was extracted from a video produced by the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries. This presentation demonstrates steps employers have taken to meet some of the challenges they faced in providing fall protection for their workers. You can view the video in its entirety at the following websites. Disclaimer, this video is intended to assist employers to comply with 29 CFR 1926 subpart M. The Occupational Safety and Health Act requires employers to comply with safety and health standards promulgated by OSHA or by a state with an OSHA approved state program. However, this guidance is not itself a standard or regulation and it creates no new legal obligations. Employers can only be cited for violating mandatory safety and health standards or other OSH Act requirements. Rolling trusses always presents a fall protection challenge. Placing walkways along the interior of the outside walls allows workers to avoid walking on the outside top plates while rolling trusses. Top plate scaffold brackets are available commercially. These brackets hang over the top plate. They have a vertical member which rests against a stud, a horizontal member for the planks to sit on, and an upright to prevent the planks from slipping. These walkways may be built on site but must meet scaffold requirements including supporting four times the intended load and a minimum platform width of at least 18 inches. Work can be performed with reasonable protection from falling by working from the interior scaffold walkways down both sides of the building. Trusses can be rolled into place, braced and blocked while working from the walkway. Where walkways must span open ceiling areas and stairwells at elevations 10 feet or higher, workers must be protected from the fall hazard. Here, guardrails have been installed. The gables and trusses need to be braced. This provides strength and prevents tipping. Follow the truss manufacturer's recommendations for bracing. Fall protection anchors can be installed on the trusses before rolling or standing them. Be sure to follow manufacturer's recommendations and your company's fall protection work plan for the selection and placement of anchors. Roof sheeting can be started while working safely from the interior scaffold walkways. Sheeting as much as possible provides sheer strength to the trusses and provides an area to work from once it is necessary to get on the roof to finish the sheeting process. The worker is protected from the fall hazard before getting onto the roof by attaching to the lifeline that was connected when the truss was rolled into place. As the sheet is handed up to the worker on the roof, the sheet is kept in front of him as a barrier to provide protection from the opening between the trusses. Once the sheet is in place, the sheet can be tacked or nailed to prevent movement. This safe work process minimizes fall exposures to the inside. Once enough of the roof has been sheeted to allow an additional worker to tie off, a second worker can safely access the roof. One worker can safely place and tack sheets while the other completes the nailing. The stair stepping of sheeting should eliminate any fall exposure to the inside for the second worker. Because of the different types of roofs, pitches, and styles, proper anchorages and fall protection are essential to protect workers from falls. There are a number of manufacturers of fall protection equipment. Your choice of fall protection equipment is not limited to the equipment shown in this video. Be sure to use the appropriate equipment for each job. Whatever equipment you use, always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for installation and proper use. This video has provided examples of safe work habits while framing in residential construction. There are a number of ways to accomplish this. This video provided some examples. The video discussed rolling trusses and roof sheeting. Fall protection measures shown here save workers' lives. 
use fall protection on the job. It could be the difference between life and death. If you would like more information, contact OSHA at www.osha.gov or 1-800-321-OSHA.